What's cooking guys? As a videographer, I need to keep up with a lot of those social media trends. The problem is, is I like to film with my camera a lot, meaning that horizontal 1920 by 1080 video. But social media is the opposite. It's 1080 by 1920 and it's vertical. So it doesn't ever really work for me. When I try to put that horizontal video in that vertical video, I either have to scale it up and I lose all that picture quality and all the image, or if I just wanna keep it in the horizontal video, I have those black bars on the top and bottom, and I don't want either of those. Well, luckily there's actually a hack that allows you to keep that horizontal video in that vertical format without losing anything. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Let's get into it. All right, so here I have some clips that I'm going to put on Instagram, just a quick little edit of some of my favorite clips from the last couple of years from my weddings with, a, of course, an Instagram Reel song, but it's in my horizontal format and I wanna make it into that vertical format. So the first thing we're gonna do is we gotta change our sequence. So I'm gonna make sure our sequence is selected. I'm gonna go up to sequence and sequence settings. And then here we have the settings that we can change. Right now it's on the 1920 by 1080 video, that's 16 by nine, but we wanna make it 1080 by 1920, that vertical. But you can see that it's kinda of locked and we can't change it. So we gotta actually make it custom first. So we're gonna go into this editing mode and scroll to the top where it says custom and we're gonna select custom. And then here we can change these to 1080 by 1920. And then we can hit okay. And it's gonna say, uh, it's gonna mess up your sequence, blah, blah, blah. And now I want to grab this and I'm gonna pull this all the way in to where it's on to the edges, but not on where there's black showing. So probably around like here. So now that I have that, I'm going to just take this clip. I'm gonna copy the motion and I'm going to paste it on all my other clips. You can also just highlight them and then Command V and paste it on all of them at the same time if you want. So now we have something that looks like this. We have the video how we want it. We're not losing any of our horizontal video and it's still in this vertical format. But like I said, we don't want either of these black bars here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna first just move up my effects here. Uh, you probably won't even have these effects if you do, just move them up because you want to duplicate all these clips. So I'm gonna highlight all these clips, hold Alt on the keyboard, grab those clips and pull them up into another layer. So now these top clips are our main clips that are gonna be in the middle. So we don't really wanna adjust those. So I'm gonna just lock that for now. These bottom clips are the ones we're going to affect. So I'm gonna to go to my first clip and change this how I want it and put all the effects on it how I want it. And then I'll do the same thing by duplicating it on all the rest. So for this, what I wanna do is I want to just grab the scale for my bottom layered clip and just pull it till it covers up the black completely, which is about there. Now I can kind of grab the motion and center it a little bit if I want to kind of make these two images match up a little bit. You just wanna adjust it to how you want it to look and how you want it to match up. And then once we have that how we want it, I'm going to go into the effects controls and I'm going to just type in blur. And then I'm gonna grab our old friend Gaussian Blur, put it on that clip, go back to effects controls and I'm going to just bring that blur, let's start it at 20. Might bring it up even farther because that's not a lot. So let's say 50. So now we have the same image blurred in the background as it plays. And that doesn't look too bad. What I'm actually gonna do is I will actually unlock this layer and I'm gonna scale my bottom clip up a little bit because I don't really want it to be as small as these side spaces but I do want to still include a lot of the information from it. So I'm gonna scale it up a bit and then just move it in the middle. See, I'm really not missing anything from the sides anymore. If anything, I'm cutting out people, but I'm still getting the main image and I'm not scaling it all the way up where their quality's bad and I'm cutting off everything completely. So I'm gonna keep it about here. That's looking pretty good. Make sure it's centered. And then I'm gonna go back and lock this video layer again. And then we'll give it another little preview. And now that looks actually really good. I still have my whole horizontal video exactly how I want it, but it's in that vertical format, but it's just blurred on the outside. I don't have those black bars. I'm not losing the quality. And I think this looks really good. And now you could always just jack up the blurriness even more so you don't really see anything, but I like to see a little bit of movement in the background. So I will probably keep it around 50. You can just fine tune it however you want to fine tune it. And like I said, you can adjust your scale even more if you want 
you just want to get it exactly how you want it for this clip my scale is perfect and my blur is how i want it and then once you get that good and you have the blur how you want it i will copy my top layer that motion again and paste it to the rest of my top clips and i will double check and kind of center these clips how i want them go through them all just adjust the point and everything kind of keep that sun in there Keeping them centered, not losing much of anything in any of these clips. And there we go. So now that I have all those set to how I want it, I will lock that top layer again. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing to the bottom layer. I'm going to copy that motion for that bottom layer, and then I'm going to highlight all those clips on the bottom layer. Command V, paste them, and now they're all the same again. And now the last thing is just a blur. Command C on the Gaussian blur, highlight all those bottom clips, Command V, and now they're all blurred. And then our final result is something like this. So there you go guys, that's just a quick hack that allows you to use your horizontal camera video in that vertical social media format without losing anything. So if you like this video and it was helpful for you, make sure you like and subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one guys, peace.